one of the exciting advancement that has occurred in this in the Asia region is the recent introduction of time lapse monitoring system into our IVF labs. These systems are being are just being introduced into major IVF centers including ours in NUH. I anticipate that in the coming one or two years we'll probably these centers will probably learn more and more on the effective use of this time lapse machine and hopefully should tell us how significant the improvement in pregnancy rates are. The second area is on the increased utilization of pre-implantation pre genetic screening PGS or aneuploidy screen. Uh, this is now being practiced in almost all the countries where IVF is being practiced and uh, I can only anticipate that its use will increase significantly in the coming years. What has hit the headlines is the recent announcement that in the United Kingdom that the UK has approved the use of what they call a three-parent IVF. That's not a very uh, appropriate term. I would prefer the term of a cytoplasm transfer or mitochondrial transfer. Uh, this technique being applied to women with mitochondrial diseases and I suppose this can also be applied in women with premature ovarian insufficiency whereby they can benefit from the use of a cytoplasm transfer. I'm sure again in the near future, in the next one or two years, we will hear more about this of its use uh, in the UK and maybe in other countries as well. Thank you.